I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, I am sharing with you a test on derivatives, Unit 2 of Calculus. I would like you to copy these questions, answer, and then you can always take my suggestions by sending an email on the address given here. As I said, there are 12 questions. Six knowledge-based questions are before you. You just need to find the derivative of each function. Simplify as much as possible. A variety is provided where you can use the power rule, product rule, quotient rule, and the chain rule. We are restricting ourselves to simple examples not involving trigonometric and exponential functions in this particular test. The second set, we have only two questions based on communication skills. Question number seven here is, show that there is no tangent on the curve y equals to x plus 2 over 3x plus 4 with positive slope. What does this signify? Question number 8. At what points on the ellipse x squared over 9 plus y squared over 16 equals to 16 is the slope of the tangent line equal to 1? You don't have to find the equation of tangent line. You just need to find the points on the ellipse. Application and thinking is always a major part which makes the difference between getting above 90 or not. So here we have taken four common questions which could be seen in such test papers. If you take my classes, we can always look into questions which could make a lot of difference. Question number nine here is, the line that is tangent to the curve y equals to minus x square plus 3x plus 4 at the point P, 4, 0, is also tangent to the curve y equals to x cubed minus 6x square plus 4x plus 16 at the point Q. Find the coordinates of point Q. Interesting question. We have seen this in past test papers. You might also get a similar question. Uh, question number 10. So I have, uh, okay, so ignore this. This has been discussed earlier also, but in this case, you can find equation of tangent line. We can say find equation of the normal at that point. So we were early asking you only for the slope of the tangent, and once you figure out the point, find the equation of the normal. Normal means a line which is perpendicular to that, right, at that point on the curve. So you could extend this as question number 10. Question 11, determine the values of a, b, and c for f of x equals to ax square plus bx plus c, so that f prime x or the derivative of the function is 6x minus 3 and f of 2 is minus 1. Very interesting question. You can do the backward calculation. We have given you the derivative. You need to find the function itself. Question 12. The normal to f of x equals to 1 over x minus 1 at 2, 1 intersects the graph of f of x at another point. What are the coordinates of the other point? Perfect. So that is a set of 12 questions which will give you a good idea of what a test paper could look like. I will now like you to pause the video, answer these questions. If you need help, you can always ask or contact me for the same. Let me discuss some solutions with you. In this video, I'm not providing complete solutions for the test paper, but just a, a glimpse of what 
could be the solution, right? So the very first one, knowledge base, is simple. We are given a polynomial function and the derivative can be found very easily using the power rule. So 5 times minus 3 is minus 15 x to the power of 4, 1 power less, and here we have plus 10 x. Pi is a constant, so its derivative is 0. So that is what the result will be. Now, the second one is f prime x equals 2. You'll multiply square root 2 with square root 2, you'll get 2 x to the power of square root 2 and then minus 1. And here we have pi. So pi is a constant, so we can write this as the constant pi times x to the power of pi minus 1. So we have seen that in many test papers, instead of writing a number, they write this irrational number pi. And sometimes students will kind of differentiate pi also. Remember, pi is a constant. So the note here basically is that pi is a constant. So remember that it is not a variable and so its derivative has to be 0. So with that in mind, this question has been placed otherwise. It is straightforward. Now, the second question, which is question number 3 actually, is y equals to 2x over cube root of x squared minus cube root of x. Well, one way definitely is that we can find the derivative of this function using any of the rule. You could also write this as y equals to 2x, x to the power of minus 2 over 3, right, minus x to the power of 1 over 3 and then find the derivative, correct? So, not very difficult. However, the difficult part here is to simplify as much as possible. When you do this derivative, which is, let me just continue with this, which is what? So, you will multiply, this is 2x times this, you could actually write, simplify this further and these two terms could be simplified. You see that? Now, most students, what they do here is, let me write that as what they do. They will apply the quotient rule here. Then simplify, right? Now, that takes time. This is time consuming. And if you do so, you might waste very critical time in the test paper and you might not be in a position to complete your test. So the strategy which I am discussing here is to simplify first. So how do you simplify? Let's do that. So let's try to simplify this. You should understand and appreciate how it looks like after simplification. So y equals 2, you can take a common denominator of x cube x square cube root you get 2x minus cube root of x times cube root of x square and that is basically equals to 2x minus and this is what when you multiply you get powers as 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3 which is 3 over 3 which is 1 so, we get this as 2x minus x over cube root of x squared and that is x over cube root of x squared and you see what you get for y? You get x to the power of, let's write 1 minus and 3 by 2, which basically is x to the power of 2 minus 3, which is minus, uh, sorry, this was a 2 over 3, to the power of 2 over 3. So, when you simplify this, you get 3 minus 1 as 1, and it's just cube root. You see what the function is? It is just cube root of x. So, if you would have simplified, the derivative was much, much simpler. You need to find the derivative of cube root of x. You get the idea. So, 
So, sometimes these strategies help. So, I will pause the video at this moment, but I hope you find how interesting the questions could be. The questions which I have taken in thinking applications, they are also very interesting. Once you try to solve them, you will understand the intricacies involved. I hope you understand and appreciate our effort in this regard. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thank you for your time and all the best.